says, don't let this suave and debonair look fool you. <laughs> this is me, Grandpa, and welcome to my screaming room. <laughs> yelling, and this is Super Scary Saturday on the Superstation. Boy, do I have something special for you today. This is the match of the century. Winners take all, loser leaves town, and there's no time limit. King Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> Let's shake the tail of the tape. As you can see, I mean, the stats are fairly even. You know, Godzilla had the edge and fire breathing. King Kong, he's got something to prove, you know, since his last appearance here in New York, where he was upset and he fell from the top. <laughs> Let's get a reaction from both King Kong and Godzilla's guest manager. Thanks, Grandpa. Let me tell you something, Michael Hayes. My man Godzilla's going to teach me how to breathe fire, and I'm going to teach him everything at the Midnight Express can do in the ring. What you got is a King Kong and dying old age. Godzilla's going to take it, brother. Well, the first mistake Godzilla did was get a four-eyed sissy like you to manage him. Oh. Because you understand, the only thing Godzilla does when he gets mad is goes to Tokyo and stops all little Japanese people. King Kong has the ability to swap planes, trains, and still hold a woman in his arms. He's going to walk down Bad Street. What you think? Grandpa. I gotta get to a phone and get a hold of my book. 